What's up guys, uh, my name is Jay and thank you for joining me in uh, another of my tutorials uh, today. Uh, this is uh, what I made is a, it's an extension of my previous video uh, which I, uh, I which I announced. Uh, you can you can watch that video. Uh, I'll probably put a link somewhere uh, so you can see it. Uh, it's it's a bit more complicated version, uh, but uh, nothing too complicated. So I think you you'll manage it. Uh, so uh, we will start again by drawing a 100 by 100 uh, pixels a circle. Uh, you, you just zoom it uh, zoom in a bit. Uh, uh, you can uh, tap twice this uh, loop tool here, uh, zoom tool here, and. Uh, to get to 100% uh, back again. Uh, with the smart guides uh, turned on, uh, uh, you should go also in outline mode here and uh, turn your, on your smart guides and uh, make a copy of this circle and then select them both, hold alt and drag them uh, to the bottom, uh, select them and with your shape builder tool, I also uh, have been talking about it almost in every of my videos uh, you, you hold alt and uh, delete uh, all these shapes so uh, the shape builder tool makes uh, for all of these so uh, you just uh, keep keep one of them and uh, now uh, press L on your keyboard to get to the ellipse tool and then uh, press uh, shift and alt and uh, go to this anchor point here and start uh, dragging until you come to the center here and then uh, uh, I'm holding a shift and alt pressed and I'm, I dragged uh, this circle here and uh, make a copy here and uh, make one here like this I think it's centered yes uh, we are pretty much uh, done uh, one thing uh, I just want to make this in front and uh, I, I press D on my keyboard to make make it uh, uh, this default gray color and uh, now I'm adding a gradient to these shapes and uh, press uh, shift and the up arrow to make them uh, bigger yes uh, they look quite a lot bigger but um, uh, don't worry about that uh, we'll, we'll change that uh, in a moment or so and now what you want to do is take this middle part and uh, drag it like this. Approximately here, uh, it doesn't have anything to snap to, but don't worry. Uh, and uh, these uh, bugs you see here is just uh, my graphics card because I'm I'm working on my laptop. Uh, see, it clears uh, uh, right away. So uh, take. Uh, these shapes and uh, rotate them so they have this uh, uh, base uh, behind uh, our uh, little square shape like this and uh, uh, select everything press R and rotate uh, so we get this uh, we get this uh, part uh, uh, here uh, so uh, we we we'll just have to mask this one. Uh, I've been talking about this in my previous tutorials, so you can check them out. Uh, no need to explain. Make uh, make a copy of this again. Uh, select this top mask with your direct, direct selection tool and uh, drag it uh, over here. Uh, make this shape in front. And uh, let's see. <laughs> control X, Control V. Yeah. Uh, uh, so no, this one, control X, control V, I always mess this up, control X, control V, control X, control V, no, control X, control V, yeah, I made it. Now, I think uh, this middle part is uh, only a bit bigger so yeah I made uh, it smaller and uh, what's left is uh, just a few here uh, slight changes make this uh, uh, 
color it differently, like you like you wish. Uh, nothing, nothing uh, special here. Yeah, and uh, yeah, this is basically it. Uh, it looks looks uh, even better. I think uh, when you when you increase the size of this middle part and rotate it, you can uh, get a s slightly different effect. So. Uh, you can experiment with this uh, as long as you like. Uh, uh, I hope that you learned something, and uh, just want to show you these. Uh, these are just some some elements I also been experimenting with. Uh, you what, what you can do here is perhaps uh, you can increase the intensity of this gradient, so uh, like this, so you get a more yeah a different effect. Uh, but it's it's up to you and your uh, creativity uh, thank you guys uh, for watching this tutorial uh, you already know how you can support me and my channel uh, so uh, i'll see you next time bye bye